Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another video in our series of privacy settings in Windows 10. Going to the notifications area, into all settings and into privacy. Today we're going to take a look at speech, inking and typing. What is that and what does it have to do exactly with your computer? Well, here goes. This is a setting and this is one of probably the settings that was kind of controversial for some. It's basically a setting where your computer actually learns from you. It's part of why Cortana gets better. That includes speech, meaning when you talk to Cortana, Cortana is constantly learning from the way you pronounce words how to get better at understanding what you say. Inking and typing is getting better at, for example, if you have a tablet like a Surface Pro 4 or 3 and you have the pen and you write, um, Windows 10 has the capability to understand your writing with a pen and that is what we call inking and it understands at some point and learns from your writing. Why? Because we don't all write exactly the same. We write differently. Even among humans we have difficulty sometimes reading what somebody else writes. So it's the same for the computer and of course it's learning as it looks at what you are writing. Typing, same thing. We all type differently. We all make some mistakes, usually always the same. So when we type, we typically always do uh, the same kind of gestures. For example, if you have the uh, uh, the habit of, you know, uh, maybe inverting letters sometimes in a word or stuff like that, well, usually we always always do it at the same with the same letters uh, or often in the same words well this is all part of your computer slowly getting to know you but it also means that there's a lot of data that goes into this there's a lot of observations there's a lot of shared data between your computer your Microsoft account so Microsoft itself and all in the idea that it tries to you know, help you uh, understand better what you say, what you do, and what how you react with your computer. It is part of what people are scared of in Windows 10. Uh, when you look at, you know, the privacy problems that a lot of people mention is this. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> they're looking at everything we do. Well, you know, they're not looking at everything that we do. They just analyze what we do to try to make our lives better with Windows 10, with Cortana. So, you know, once again, these settings are not read by somebody somewhere. They're just, you know, sent as data. They're not linked to your computer. So there's nothing that can say, oh, this is this guy, and you know, it's a Jill in Montreal. It's that guy's computer. You know, that's, that's where we have to be careful. You know, yes, again, it's the thin line where we have to understand the privacy versus the usability versus how useful your computer can be to you. There has to be some information, of course, that is scanned and looked through for it to work well. And this is not worse than Siri on your iPhone or uh, Google Voice on your Android device. So... Uh, don't you know go crazy over this so you can click the stop getting to know me button what that does is not only will the the computer stop learning about you in every way but it will also erase everything that the computer has um, you know used and saved as information to make your life better so you can click stop getting to know me and you know it's, it's gonna stop and you won't have all these functionalities work for you or work as well because it won't be able to really know your little habits uh, to make your life better on the computer 
Another thing that you can check for, it says here, Manage Cloud Info. You can go and it says here, go to Bing and manage personal info for all your devices. So basically what it does, here it's interesting because it gives me a 404 page not found. So basically, uh, maybe because I'm using Chrome, let's just try it out with... Uh, Yeah, you have to be in uh, Edge for it to work. It doesn't work in Chrome, but it works on Edge uh, because I'm not logged in. But here you have personalization in info. So you have to use Edge or probably Internet Explorer for it to work. Um, so you can you know, do what I just did. Just copy and paste in Edge or Internet Explorer to have that information. Uh, what it does is you sign in and here you have um, all the personal info. Um, anything you want to know and clear, maybe remove, that's where you'll go and get it. You'll be uh, sent to your Microsoft account information on the cloud, on the web, and that's where you'll be able to also erase some stuff. So that's good to know. Not only can you erase the local stuff by stop getting to know me, you can manage that stuff on the cloud in your Microsoft account. And of course, there's the privacy statement and learn more about speech, inking, and typing. And uh, it sends you to the Microsoft web pages where they talk about this, um, these informations and you know what's the privacy settings with that or what uh, privacy statement they have to say and the license agreement. So that's the option of speech, inking, and typing, getting to know you. This is really the center point of you know having access to a good working Cortana and everything like that because the more your computer knows about you, the better the experience will be in Windows 10. If you enjoy our videos, why not subscribe to our channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. Helps us on the ratings on YouTube. Um, maybe you have a comment, a suggestion, any information you might want to ask or maybe you know just comment about something. Of course, it's always fun to have your feedback. And thank you so much for following me on my channel.